Today, we're going to talk about your electrolytes and also your other minerals that help you either keto adapt or help your gut to heal and even your thyroid. So meat alone is not going to heal you if you're <clears throat> depleted in certain things. Let's get into it. Welcome everyone. Let's go because I have so much to do tonight. Now I want to talk about people who are doing keto and carnivore diets. Y'all are urinating a lot more than the average person who eats carbs. Count how many times that you urinate throughout the day so you understand how much of your electrolytes might be in crisis. Not only your sodium, potassium, magnesium, but also your calcium, your zinc, your iron, your copper. And we need certain minerals for certain things, like we need zinc and copper, especially for those who have leaky gut and histamine to help seal the gut wall, right? We need zinc and copper. But if you're stressing out, you have a hard time to absorb them and you deplete very easily. Now, stress is when your body is releasing cortisol, yes, and adrenaline. Now, this is what we need. But when you have it out of rhythm and you're constant releasing these hormones, that's when your body starts to go into a gnarly gluconeogenesis. Your gut wall opens up if you already have an underlying condition and you start peeing out your minerals. So let's go more into it. Again, you're not going to just do a carnivore diet, lose weight, heal your gut, and do it 15 years and never go back and be okay. These little slivers, uh, little nuggets of information, I mean, they are everything. What other people do not talk about is how quickly you lose minerals via your urine. Now, when you cut out your carbs, carbs make you hold on to water and in those cells, you're holding on to minerals. Potassium, let's say from a banana, it's not high in potassium. Actually, avocado has more potassium, but that fructose, right? That's why certain carnivore gurus started eating fruit because you're able to hold on to your minerals more. But it's not the fact that you need to hold on to water more and become bloated and water retentive. It's the fact that you don't want adrenaline and your adrenal system to start dumping your minerals because you're stressed out, not sleeping well, and not getting into ketosis. That's the problem. People keep, some people in the comment section say things like, well, why don't, why would you just do, why don't you just do a carb diet? Why would you even bother with a keto or carnivore diet if you are so depleted in minerals. And I'm like, look, you're going to be depleted in minerals if you fast. Mm -hmm. You're going to be depleted in minerals if you stress out. You just tend to more lose minerals when you don't have anything to hold on to in the cell in terms of glucose, sugar. And the problem is with glucose and sugar that's would not, you would not be consuming that in nature is the fact that it damages cells. That's what makes you age faster is the destruction of the cell lining. It's called glycation. And so you trade one problem by going back onto carbs for a massive, like, okay, now I feel better. My electrolytes are a little bit easier to balance, a little bit easier. They don't balance them. It's a little bit easier, but now you're dealing with cellular death right? Action potentials within the cells. And they're just like on all the fructose and glucose and all of this. So the upside to not eating carbs is the fact that you don't go through glycation like you do with eating carbs, which, you know, glycation can manifest in disease and high blood sugar and, um, heart issues and bunch of aging disease issues. 
low kidney function, high liver enzymes, inflammation, etc. So when you get into ketosis, you benefit from not having these high levels of glucose or high levels of insulin that are spewing out bolus amounts, which also glycates the cells when you have too much insulin. So if you're in ketosis, and there's a difference between doing a keto diet that you think is keto and actually being highly fat adapted, highly keto adapted, there's, there's a huge difference. And you can do that doing carnivore, and you can do that doing, ke doing keto, but you cannot do that on low carb, high fat, and stressing the frack out or falling off the wagon and eating some carbs and then trying to do trying to do a cyclic ketogenic diet won't work not gonna adapt if you go and get blood tests and you're checking your sodium potassium levels like I got the idea for this video from a woman I had a consultation with today and her sodium was low her potassium was too high and often when your potassium is too high and if you deplete the sodium right if you're depleting your sodium you're stressing out potassium is going to go high and you're going to have all of the symptoms of an electrolyte imbalance that you would have to have with, can I talk, low potassium. We don't want to have low sodium, not whatsoever because the cells need to communicate with each other via these electrolytes like with muscle contraction like sodium. Stress will deplete your body of all these minerals. Zinc, copper, iron, but the ones we're concerned about is calcium, magnesium, sodium, and potassium, especially ones that balance each other. Like if your potassium is low, then your sodium's too high. Not good. I mean, you will have those symptoms of like day twitches, nausea, stomach aches, fatigue, high blood sugar. I know. And a lot of people don't see that they're depleted or depleting themselves in minerals. Also, teas, tea bags, coffee, these things will deplete your mineral absorption because the plants are anti-nutrients, which is fine, but you're just drinking it all day long, all the time, deplete, 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 and not replete or rest or being anabolic by repairing your body at night. So don't rely on a keto or carnivore diet to lose weight and feel fabulous because whoever tells you that, they're not completely honest. People will gain something over here and they'll ignore the two things that happened over there because they wanted this, they wanted that weight loss. But then they're starting to have like muscle twinges or there might be like nauseous or may not sleep well or have a little constipation, lose stool on carnivore or keto, but they ignore it because, hey, I lost 60 pounds. And this is why people become so confused when they say, I'm in these carnivore groups and everybody's doing amazing. They're lying. And I know that because I've just worked with so many thousands of people. It is irrefutable at this point. Everybody has problems. There's no way that a human is going to do something extreme or even when it comes to standard American diet or when it comes to carnivore or keto and expect smooth sailing the day that you decide to just eat meat and eat ribeyes. And I've done a ton of videos on uric acid and purines. So when I get these people in my comment section, nonsense, you're wrong. You don't need fiber uh, to survive. And I'm like, okay, keep do what you do. And I'll keep being fabulous and young and doing what I'm doing at 56, soon to be 57. If that sounded sarcastic. I've just gotten those comments all day long. I think I've gotten a lot of new subscribers. And they're like, you're wrong. Like that That's all they say is, you're wrong. I'm like, okay, please educate me. I'd love to hear how I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, fall. Ska jag jag. Ska jag prata svenska istället. But I'm doing these videos because you guys don't understand the importance. You want to get at least a teaspoon of salt. If you guys are very salt sensitive, you might want to do Celtic salt instead of Redmond's or any rock salt. If you're super sensitive, you might do a half a teaspoon, work your way up. Some people aren't absorbing things because again, stress depletes yourself of minerals. Sometimes it's hard to produce the minerals and also not to produce, to, to hold on to them and to excrete them. That's the problem. Uh, you can also check for sleep. Sleep is important. Also drinking enough water is also very important because you're going to be dumping a lot of water via the kidney. So 
drinking water. People keep thinking hydration is all about water. It's not. It's water, sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, all of them. And if you're like not doing any of these minerals and you're constantly peeing, drinking water is not going to do anything. You're just going to be thirsty and foamy at the sides of your mouth, drinking a gallon, gallon of water because you keep drinking water and depleting the sodium in your blood and then potassium gets too high. I know. So just eating a ribeye or a big bunch of ribeyes all day long, you see people eating plates of ribeye. That ain't going to fix the problem, my people. It's them little things you got to pay attention to. And that's why I do these videos and I'm out. Peace. Comment below. Have you had facial twitches, potassium deficiency? Have you had your rib lock up? Yeah, that's a real toe lock, calves lock, rib lock. Was it in the daytime? Because that's magnesium and potassium. Was it at night? That's magnesium. Yes. Do you have that dry ass mouth? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you crave salt? Or do you not crave salt whatsoever? Yeah. Tell me more. Do you hold on to water when you hold on to salt when you have salt? Cortisol. Not enough potassium. Hello. Cannot do sodium without potassium. So don't go down in sodium because you're afraid of ballooning up because you're really just not balancing your electrolytes. So you can have enough sodium and drink enough water and get that potassium in. Yeah. Comment below. My Instagram is Stephanie Ketogenic. My Facebook fan page is Stephanie the Business Person. I'm writing all this stuff for the challenge that's going to happen in March. Mm -hmm. Yes, in March. I'm almost done. My house is going to be built in two weeks. We went through cancer. We've been through like horses turning on each other and becoming aggressive. Uh, a lot of stuff. Working my bollocks off. But life is good. Made it, it's been a hard winter, but and we still have a little bit to go, but I'm so excited for the rest of my life. And you should be too, because there's two kinds of people. <laughs> there's the winners and the not winners. And I'm out. Energy at 56. <laughs>